morning. See him here at a, a tennis club. A lot of young people out here doing their thing. But uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was just the fact that, you know, a lot of us, sometimes you watch sports or other events like that, and you see people who are doing their thing at a high level. And you know, a lot of us, we take it for granted that they had to start. They had to start doing it. And more than likely, more than likely they weren't the best at what they were doing when they started. They just started. A lot of times for a lot of us, we don't put that in perspective. We try to start something and we think, all right, I'm gonna I'm perfect this. I'm gonna be the best at it. And you ain't even tried it yet. You ain't did nothing. You don't know what the, the competition's like. You don't know what the ups and downs are like. You're just, you're just talking. Whether it's YouTube, whether it's whatever you're doing, academic pursuits, anything. People will be like, oh, well, I'll start once, uh, once I get all this right. Well, I'll start once. And we've all heard this, the terms before, like, just start, just record, whatever. But really, when you really break it down, it just boils down to being scared and giving yourself excuses. Giving yourself excuses to not do that thing. And we all do it. I've done it. I might, I'm probably still doing it in some shape, form, or fashion. But the thing about it is, you got to, at some point, you have to just tell yourself, like, I just need to do this thing. There's nothing wrong with preparing, trying to get better. Dang, this thing smells good. Sometimes you do have to stop and smell the flowers. Yeah. But, um, you just gotta start. Easier said than done, I know. At the same time, we got all the excuses in the world not to do something. And they all make sense. Until you realize, dang, I ain't doing nothing, you know? I've, uh, I've had this conversation before with people that wanna start YouTube, and they'll tell themselves, Oh, well, I'm trying to get it perfect. And I tell myself that sometimes, too. I just need to get this thing a little bit better. Sometimes that's even the reason for delay of some of the videos I might make. I do recognize that in myself, that I'm actually just holding myself back from a lot of, from a lot of videos that I should be pushing out. And that's the change I got to make. That's, the, that's what I got to deal with. It's the battle of trying to be perfect, because you ain't going to never be perfect. We, we all kind of know this. The goal is to just get better. But just how I'm walking here, one step at a time, that's pretty much what we need to do. A lot of, a lot of our journeys, no matter how, how lofty the dream might be, you still have to take a step and then another step and another step. You just have to agree to go on the journey. Like it's gonna be a journey of ups and downs, falls, wins. And once you agree that you're going on that, then I think, Nobody, you don't need no coaching after that. You don't, nobody needs to, to encourage you anymore. I mean, it always helps, right? To have some positive encouragement going on, but it's not needed. It's not like a person that doesn't have any, any ambition. They might need constant encouragement just to do the, the regular stuff, you know, get up, do something like this. Okay, so I'm in a business of making YouTube videos right now. That entails making videos, recording yourself with a camera. And that's what, that's what we're doing here. But whether it's a vlog style that I'm doing here or even a, you know, a more thought out, produced, edited style of video, they all count towards more content and they build a skill level at the same time. Could be looking at this now, but like, oh man, I'll tell you, your videos suck. Maybe they probably do. I mean, I, I hope they don't. And that's all right, because guess what? We on this journey, just like this path right here that I'm walking on. We on a journey just like this path I'm walking on. I don't really know where it ends either. I mean, I have a general direction and I know how to get back. But uh, yeah, these these type of things are what we need to take into account. There's, there's a, a mental framework that needs to be thought about with pretty much everything we do in life. It's, uh, it can be broken down 
into a few things. And one is, you know, are you gonna stick with it? Do you have the right framework, mindset to continue on? Or is it just something that's popping up like a trend and you're just doing that trend and within six months, you're gonna be on to something else. That may work for you, but if you're trying to be good at something for real, it could be anything. It could be cooking, it could be making videos, it could be making music, it could be whatever type of office work you're doing. It could be physical pursuits, sport, anything. Business, education, educating yourself on a certain thing. It's not much else that people really wanna do. I mean, maybe conquering the world, I'm sure people have that ambition too. But uh, even with that one, it basically comes down to honing some type of skill to be able to do that. I think we all know what we need to do to get better at anything. A lot of it is just repetitions, practice. I tell you, the, the video stuff, you know, I might also start putting stuff on other platforms as well, more stuff on other platforms. But don't think because you only saw this on YouTube that that's all I was doing. That's the only thing I was making. I've got a lot of stuff that actually hasn't gone anywhere. Now that I'm building up my editing skills and getting a little bit more serious with it, playing around, I think what I what I need to do is go back and start editing the older videos. That's what I'm going to do by the end of this year. You might see some, you'll see different videos like this, vlogging style, and you'll see me editing some stuff because I do think editing is fun to a degree. It can get to a point where it's you know, it's a lot of work, but that's part of the fun of it as well. If I feel like this, every time I do an edit, I feel like I learn something every time. The trash ones, I wouldn't even say trash, but maybe the, the content or the story is not as good as others. But I would say every time I do a video, I'm learning something. If it's not a new editing trick that you probably won't notice, it's about efficiency. So even though I might have did something before, I learned how to do it in a different way. And I gotta give that credit to dealing with a more robust software for editing versus what I was using before. I was still learning with, you know, a year ago when I was using uh, the program I had used for that year before. But now I'm using something that I, I believe more people are using. I know they use it at a Hollywood level, cinema, you know, everybody talks about this program over the last year, DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve this, DaVinci Resolve that. And it is what it is. I'm not here to hype it up, but I do think the, the company itself has a growth mindset, which is kind of who you want to be aligned with. You know? they, they have all the tools there. They got more than I need right now. Probably three years ago, they had more than I could use, you know, three years from now. But I like the fact that they have that level that you can go to, but it's still user-friendly enough where if you take some time, a month or two, to dedicate to learning it, you could be pretty proficient and level up any of your stuff you're doing. So I appreciate that, and that's what I'm doing. But that's another thing, too. Like It's, it's also about recognizing top quality equipment, software, and people. People's another thing, like being around top quality people, consuming content from people who you align with, people who are going to encourage you to go with your endeavors or encourage you to, to get better at the thing, you know, or maybe even encourage you to do something you never even thought about doing. Let me check this out right quick trying to see how much time we've been recording but that's another thing you just got to know that you know the people we surround ourselves with are that does have an effect on us so the people the equipment the mindset the mindset is number one if you ain't got no equipment you ain't got no money you got no friends no family you can still talk to yourself and that's one thing I want to mention as well there's there's something to be said about speaking things and that's the beauty of today's world right you can have a cheap camera go out with it speak your thoughts this could be a journal who knows like, this may be published it may not but 
the thing about it is you can actually go out practice your craft analyze it later and nobody nobody can tell you what's right or wrong nobody can tell you what's going to be the next viral hit but what i was going to say is like a lot of this is you have these thoughts in your head crazy thoughts in your head and then when you speak them you actually oh that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense even if you're just talking to a camera and that's I think that's a very good exercise. It's almost like it's very similar to writers. You hear writers talk about just getting up in the morning and writing out their thoughts, which is still a good practice. I mean, I write things down too, but not as often probably as I should. But even making that process easier for you, just getting in the habit of, of doing something. I think these type of vlogs, being a YouTube or content creator, you still would have a lot to gain from just the daily activity of of vlogging if nothing else you can look back on your own videos and learn from it yourself so on that note maybe this will be a regular thing maybe we start doing this on a regular make sure you like and subscribe check out the other videos we traveling all around the world so check those videos